He flips it in. Jerry Hart of the Islanders has it there over skating. Lonsbury now checking him. Hart just physicals his way out of there. Gives it to Howard who hands it right to Watson. Score! Joe Watson shot deflected in by Ross Lonsbury. Westfall can't get there in time. It's taken by Clement. Clement for the Flyers with Terry Chris. Clement around Westfall. Can't get the shot away. There'll be a penalty to Eddie Westfall for tripping Bill Clement. And Clement uh, Flyers in their own zone. Van Hitt taking off the puck in a tough hit. Number six and number 18. They're laying that lumber on pretty good. Then you'll see DuPont give him the left jab. The Flyers send fresh legs over the board. Barber comes on. Van Imp, Lonsbury, and Dornhofer. The penalty has expired. Dornhofer takes a bump from Nystrom. McMillan checked by Lonsbury. You mentioned that they were going at each other coming down the other side of the ice. And here's, here's Clark uh, getting that hip uh, into him. And there's the stick uh, with the one hand uh, by Westfall going at Clark. You'll see it right here. And there it is as he cuts him off to give his player a chance to get out. There's the elbow and then the, the throw. <laughs> All right, Westfall against McLeish. Westfall got it to Drew. Dennis Pop the score. Dennis Pop And it's tied up at 1 1. Back to Parise. Centering for Drew. And Bobby Clark is there to check him. Clark pinning Drew and the puck is loose. Good enough comes in and it's held long enough for a face off. And up come the elbows and arms. DuPont's in there quickly as Parise and Clark push and shove a little bit. The linesmen are there, D'Amico and Finn, to keep the peace. It's back to McLeish who takes it neatly in the palm of the hand. Fakes the drop pass and Potvin runs it right into the Islander bench. Stewart with Gillies trailing. Stewart trying to get around Harris. He does right across the crease. Harris wraps it back. Hart the shot. Tips it. Try and good enough blocked it. Hart a drive. Score! Jerry Hart. A rising slap shot over the raised club hand of Bernie Ferrat. And it's 2 to 1. The New York Islanders in front. I think we said last week about the Islander team. They play the same 60 minutes, whether they're up 2 to 1 or down 8 to 1. Rash trying to clear it, handed it right to Barber, but he couldn't make the play back to Joe Watson. Drouin brings it out. Drouin, a west ball inside the fire line, pass intended for the trailing winger Parise, but he was nowhere near it. Bobby Clark trying to get started. Parise cuts to the off wing, bumps him off the puck, picked up by Leach. He can shoot it, and Hart blocks it with a perfectly timed ball. Clark gets it loose. Leach backhands it in. The incredible Cinderella New York Islanders have forced a seventh and deciding game in the semifinal series at the Spectrum in Philadelphia on Tuesday night by defeating the world champion Philadelphia Flyers 2-1 to one here this afternoon at the Nassau County Coliseum. Another remarkable performance, a come-from-behind performance. The Flyers scored first. Lonsbury at 142 in the first period. Dennis Putman tied it up on a power play in the second. And unheralded Jerry Hart scored unassisted at 342 in the third. And the Islanders made it stand up 